Here's how to create a burning text effect in After Effects. Just kidding, we're actually going to do it in Premiere Pro. To get started, from your project panel create a new black video. Drag this onto video track 3, we'll need that lower video tracks later on. By the way, you can download all project related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. With the black video layer selected, head to the effects panel and search for the circle effect. Double click it to apply. Then add the turbulent displace effect as well. Next, go to the effect controls panel and increase the circle effects radius until the white part covers your text. Click the stopwatch icon next to radius to set a keyframe. Move this keyframe to the end of the timeline, and then go back to the start and set the radius value to zero. You'll now end up with this animation. Let's tweak the turbulent display settings. Increase the amount to around 300. Set complexity to 10, and adjust evolution to 50. Now add your text using the type tool or simply press T key. Move this text layer to video track 2 in the effect controls panel. Adjust the font and size to your liking. Double click the text layer to bring up the essential graphics panel and use the alignment buttons to center the text. With the text layer still selected, go to the effects panel and add the track matte key effect. Back in the effect controls panel, set the matte option to video 3. As our black video is on track 3, you'll see a text reveal effect. However, to reverse this, check the reverse option. To enhance it, hold the Alt or Option key and drag the black video layer to track for to duplicate it. With the duplicated layer selected, from the effects panel add the Gaussian blur effect. Adjust the blurriness value to 105, now select the text layer. Copy the existing track matte key effect and paste it, setting the matte to video 4. This softens the edges giving a smoky look. Duplicate the black video layer to more times. Then, apply the invert effect to the top layer. In the effect controls panel, decrease the scale value to control the outline thickness of the wave effect. Select both these layers and nest them. Let's give a name. Next duplicate the bottom text layer. With duplicated text layer selected, from effect controls panel change its fill color to orange. Scroll down and delete the extra track matte key effect. Then set matte to video 5 since the nested layer is on track 5. Change the composite using option to matte luma and disable that reverse option. This creates a burn effect. Notice, password is flick barn. To elevate it further, add a fire particle overlay on top of all layers. To remove that black background, set its blend mode to screen. To reveal the particles gradually, create an ellipse mask. Adjust the mask size to cover the entire text and set the mask feather value to 100. Click the stopwatch next to mask path and move the keyframe to the end of the timeline. Click on mask to highlight the mask in the preview monitor, then shrink it as much as possible. I think it's better you bring this mask path keyframe few frames backward. To add fade out effect, add an opacity keyframe, starting from 100% and ending at 0%. You can tweak the gap between keyframes and other parameters to fine-tune the animation. For an extra touch, let's add fire burning sound effect, and this is what you will end up with. <laughs>